Welcome to another exciting review on MrTruck.com with Kent and Kelsey. We're up here with our first 2018 review. This is a Ford Lariat loaded Super Crew. It's all the towing packages on it. This thing actually will tow, I think it's 10,800 pounds. You can configure these now all the way up to 13,200 on the Ford uh, half ton model. This is the F-150 with a short, short bid. And we towed only 5,200 pounds. I can only afford one bale on the back of the trailer this time. <laughs> so there we are. You know, I've towed 10,800 with it, and it does very well. It's just, a, you know, you, you can tell the difference in the lightness of it, and that 10 speed is starting to make a difference in how you tow. It's uh, great on fuel mileage, and they've got some extra things on here, an eco button you push to get better fuel mileage. So they've added a few more buttons when it starts to you when it's uh, wet or snowy, starting to higher gear. But it's just got toys, 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 and a great power towing mirrors on this, the telescope out and power fold. Well, Kelsey, how much power does this EcoBoost 3.5 V6 have? We have 375 horsepower to 470 torque. Cool, so it's powerful. It is very powerful. It's got the, the, the guts to go up these mountains. So let's go up and down the mountain, see how well it does. We got beautiful scenery up here, a lake in the back, a mountain in the back, and we are in the mountains. So come join us. Let's have some fun. Much leg room. Wow, there is. In front of, of that room. chair, there's a lot of leg room. There is a lot of leg room. Mats rolling them up. You put a basketball team in there. Oh, look, your little cup holder folds out on this one. It's not in the console. Oh, it's... cool. Well, that's kind of neat. It's kind of like Volkswagen did with their little pop out consoles. But... Yeah. Well, I like the color of those seats. It's a very pretty light colored seat. Yeah. Got lots of room. AC, power. Oh, heated seats, cup holders, lots and lots and lots, lots of, cup of cup holders. Lots of cup holders, cool. With detailing in the door. You can go camping in this one. Yeah, gorgeous back seat. Uh, fold, they're, they're all flat for, floors. Holy cow, there's nothing under the seat. Use a stereo or jack or something no. there. They've got a small oh, bin to kind of carry things in, but other than that, I mean, it's a flat back seat. There's lots of potential for back here. Right, who needs a camper? You can just go camp on the floor. Yeah. Throw in a sleeping bag. And well, shit, they make them little, there. like, single bed air blow up mattresses. Oh, You've got to sleep on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, it probably has a 12 volt outlet back there. That looks good. Cool. Awesome. Well, another adventure into the Rockies. 2018 F-150. Now this has the EcoBoost. It's so got all the power and torque in the world. And it's 10 speed and it's dual injection, port injection and direct injection. And when this came out last year, we had one of these. It improved fuel mileage by about two miles to the gallon. Now this year, for 18, the 5.0, the old Coyote engine, has all the same stuff this has, the 10 speed, the dual injection, and the uh, stop start technology. We shut ours off because we're pulling the trailer and if we were in the city trying or if we were on the road trip, we'd probably use it. But so all those things now, the both the, the 27 EcoBoost and the 5.0 that is added to it. The base model 3.5 is the uh, only one that doesn't have the 10 speed. But I want to drive one of these with a 10 speed and a 5 liter. That, that'd be exciting. So here we are in Lariat. Loaded, loaded, loaded. I mean, it's, it's weird. And, uh, you know, it's got, of course, it's got the manual shifter on this 10 speed automatic. And the gear, it shifts very fast through them. It gets the overdrive as quickly as it can. I mean, you, you have to do nothing and get it to ninth gear. It just wants to get there and save you fuel. And this one I think is rated at 23 on the highway with the traders up again about 13 and a half. But this puppy is rated 
23 and a highway, 17 the city, 19 combined. But um, that's the 355 rear end, which is a good towing rear end. As you know, now these 10 speeds, first and second gear is really geared down for starting out. But this thing in that shifter for your tow home mode, which is on the side of your, of your, your shift lever, it's in the console. Um, a little different than what's on the steering wheel if you use the, that column shifter. But anyway, all these modes in there, you go start with normal mode, then you go to tow haul mode by just going through by pushing that button. And then you go into this uh, snow and ice mode, which means you start in a higher gear, like you may start in second or third instead of first. And then it's got an econo mode, which means you probably shift that lower RPMs to get better, a better fuel mileage. And I haven't got a chance to test it to see how much difference that makes. Um, and then the last one, of course, is the speed. The, uh, the sport uh, mode. The sport mode. And it, it already flat out flies. You put that on there and you know, you're hanging on for dear life because it is fast. This trailer, this truck set up right, we got the toy mirrors with their power telescoping power fold. They have uh, lights on the outside of them too. Yeah, they, they do. They got off. the lights, which is kind of, I mean, I guess if you're trying to see what's going on in these buildings next door, if you're out playing Barney 5, it might come in handy, but I wish they'd paint it, point it straight back. back. Well, you can tip the mirrors back and point back, but then you can't look out your mirror to see the trailer. So I guess it lights up behind you. It just doesn't... Uh, I wish they had them facing backwards now so I could use them at night for the trailer. But oh well. And this truck has got uh, it's got those new B and O speakers, which we know what B O stands for. But anyway, um, and this actually parks itself. It's got a button you push and you drive parking. by the hole you have a parallel one here at the steering wheel. That is your parking button, like all the luxury cars have. You drive by the place where you push that button. And then you drive by the parallel parking spot that you want to park in, and it measures it with all the cameras and sensors, and then you'll go to the wheel, and it will back right into that spot all by itself. Park, you drive by the hole, it measures it, and then you let go of it, and it just parks itself. I think that's so cool. I'm amazed we have in trucks, you know, like luxury cars have had it for years. But, of course, this has all the cool cameras, and I've got that to show you. And you can hit the big picture you can see really well. And it's the only one I know that has a dotted line down the middle, lines up your ball in your coupler. Instead of just giving you this space, you kind of guess where the middle yeah. is. Yeah, that, that line is, is really impressive to me. And LEDs all over the place. It's got the new grill for the 18s. This is a short, short bed, five and a half foot. I think it's a 36 gallon tank. It has the optional tank. If I can ever read the fine print on these things. But, um, Yabba Dabba 2, it's the aluminum body, and we've got, we only have a light load, I was, <laughs> very light load. I only have one bale on here, so the trailer's 45, you got seven in the bale, so you're, what's that, 5200, it's all we're towing, so it's not any strain at all. It's, yeah, there's nothing back there. Yeah. This thing will race all day long with a little trailer, but I want to, and on this trailer too, we've got the new Tucson, actually, I'm going to pull this camera out and talk is this new Tucson tire pressure monitor for your trailer. I love it. You put it inside just like you do on your car and your trucks from the factory. And actually it's the same sensors that Nissan and Toyota use. So you put the have you know take it to the tire shop, put those in there and then you have this monitor in your cab. Come on button, stay on. Oh there you go. Let's see some numbers. And that put that anywhere in any vehicle you want. And it tells you what's going on in your trailer. This puppy has also an antenna a repeater on the trailer so that it takes the signal from the, the tire pressure sensors and shoots it toward the truck and then this monitor picks it up. And it's really cool. It tells you the temperature. I, I've got them on my spare tire too. So it shows me what the temperature on five tires is, what the air pressure on five tires is, and you know what the voltage that's going to the, uh, the repeater is. So it is so cool, and that, you know, I got 14 plate tires in this trailer because I had so many blowouts, and the whole goal is here is to stop having blowouts. Well, and if you can see what's going on, then yeah. hopefully you can correct it. And it'll tell me, you know, that the tire's getting hot, you know, and if it gets to a certain percentage, I know that it's more than a tire, maybe a bearing getting hot, which is going to help me a lot because I hate to replace bearings on the side of the road. 
that's more it's even harder to do than the spare tires are. So we got that in here and that's just from Tucson. I love that system. It's gonna be one of my favorite aftermarket accessories. I put it on my other trailer too, my other RV trailer. I won't need it on the ATV trailer. But yes indeed. It's got all the safety things, it's got the uh, lane departure warning in your mirrors. And I think there's a button you can shut it off. And some of these trucks now they tell you to pull over and get some coffee. And I thought, why don't a truck tell me to go get coffee? But anyway, that's on some of the other brands. But this uh, this truck it's a really, has, really pretty leather bash. Yeah, it is. And the layout for the gauges is very well designed here. One thing I don't like is this pro. It's got the pro trailer backup assist on. It's that little knob there, and. Uh, that makes the brake controller uh, apparatus, your manual brake control and your gain setting, makes it below that, which is like you don't see that, which I don't really like. That's too far down and you can't read out can't plus read and minus, it. so you gotta guess gotta fill that out. But that knob above it is what you use for backing up trailers. And for the first time trader owner, that's probably a good thing. Because that will you can use that knob and go the the direction you want to go instead of when the stream goes the opposite way you're going so and that's what I'm used to so it's not going to work for me but I can understand all these things that they're coming out with and this has got so many trailer items in the dash for your blind spot distance for all the things you can do to help yourself with the trailer it's got a trailer checkout system you can check your lights go through it and see if what's working that's which is really important. good to do because you can't always get somebody with you to go back and look at the lights when you're doing that so this is a really good trader machine. Um, in some instances, it may be, you know, I know they're trying to save fuel, but maybe getting too light, because some of that helps control your trailer. I've had some experience with uh, the Agala with TFL truck, where I thought it was too light for a really heavy trailer for the kind of control I wanted. But for most of the time, uh, the light trailer I used, it's wonderful. What it about the truck is it's just awesome. It's got great visibility. These and, windows are wonderful. Yeah, and it's got, you know, Sliding rear window that's all frameless, everything is, is awesome on this. We don't have the giant moonroof on this, but this is the big cab, which is what Super Duty has now, too. And it um, it has that giant flat floor back there, so you can haul all your cargo. It really makes a nice ride. I like to stretch out in the back seat. It's not quite mm -hmm. as big as the Dodge Mega Cab or the Ram Mega Cab, but it's similar in, lay in the room back there to the Toyota Crew Max. But anyway, it makes the Super Duty much nicer. And speaking of Super Duty, uh, you know, the 18s, they're all coming out with that. But I went on the, the Ford as a really good uh, RV and, and truck towing guide. Usually you have to go to their fleet department to find that. But I went on this morning trying to look up some of the stats on this truck, and all the stats for the 2018 Super Duty were all blacked out. It's like, I guess, you know, Ram came out with a 930 torque for the 18, so, which means Ford will have to come out with, you know, 10 more or 5 more. And so they wouldn't release, they didn't release the towing numbers, the torque numbers, the horsepower numbers. So all that's a big secret, I guess, till sometime in November. They're going to tell us all that. This. Yeah, so we'll see, you know, how much they want to go above Dodge or Ram, but that's what they'll do. So that's coming is the new numbers in the 18 Super Duty. We have all the numbers on this. And, we, and, and like what Kelsey told us at the beginning here, what the torque and horsepower is. But, this one, as far as I can tell, looking through all these websites, and it, it should be easier than it is, but it looks to me like this Larry yet configured like this is with the Super Crew and a short bed, four-wheel drive, and the EcoBoost. This EcoBoost is a little heavier than what the 5.0 is, the V8, okay. because of the turbos and the intercooler and all those things. So it's always surprising to V6 heavier than the V8, but it's all the things that go it's with it that make it heavier. Yeah. So this, is, as far as I can tell, is 10,700, what the trailer towing capacity is. Okay. And, uh, you know, I didn't look at the payload because payload to me is a bogus number. They don't make it match the trailer. But anyway, I could have got that for you. But it's a 55 rear end on this 10 speed automatic. So it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of technology into this truck. It's like a baby space shuttle. It's got all those computers and all that wiring on it. So, how's the handling feel to you? Feels like a bigger truck. Yeah, I don't think it has adaptive steering. Which I'm not sure they haven't have something. I know that's an option in uh, Super Duties. It corners nice, but it, it feels like it's a bigger truck than an F-150. Yeah. Does it does it stay flat on the corners? It does stay flat. It's it corners smoothly. Yeah. And 
you don't get jarred around or anything like that. It just kind of feels like I'm driving a boat when I know I'm not. Yeah, and the Super Duty, I think, is the quietest and most powerful truck they've come out with. But this one, the same cab, so it should be the same quietness. Of course, there's not going to be a diesel involved in this. But I had, I had a little bit of air leak around this door, and I guess it went away. So it must have been a wind in the right direction. But it's a quiet cab. I mean, you yes. can talk to everybody in the back. And you can get the seat where you want it, right? It's yep. got all that cool it's stuff. got probably a 10-way or more. Yeah, it's, it's uh, power tilt, power telescope. Somebody's doing it right. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's one of the number one selling truck, and now they're claiming that they've been number one selling for 40 years. Numbers are well. They're making good money right now. People well, it's not a bouncy trucks. ride. It's quiet. It's there's not even enough weight back there for me to tell you there's a trailer back there. So. Yeah, I've got the Gen Y hitch on the torsion one, and I notice the only time I can tell it's trailer back there's when I stop really fast, you can feel the movement. But uh, you got to wait to be hitched on this, whether I need it or not. Ford seems to be the, the most squatty trucks in the half ton. So I, I like putting weight distributing on these trucks, even with a small trailer. There's a lot of information on this dash. The gauge cluster is kind of overwhelming. Yeah, if you scroll through all that, each section towing trucks, miles per gallon, they have a whole list. Of things that, a, I've never seen so much stuff on trailer towing on this. A lot of great information, but until you're ready for <laughs> it, it is overwhelming, everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta keep your eyes on the road because there is too much stuff going on there. Well, traders can be intimidating, so I know that them guys just first, the guys or gals, the first time they're pulling a trailer, they're going to be kind of worried about us. So that's what they're trying to do is get enough information out there so you feel confident. Confident. Pull it? Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't even remember the first time I pulled a trailer. You know, I'd say, I, I remember my first time, which, good gosh, I must have been 14, 15. And I had a Chevy Love, a little tiny mini truck, and my brother-in-law's Sooner stock trailer. It was 16 long and 6 feet wide, no trailer brakes, and I just towed that like 10 miles. And, and I mini was truck. doing this thing all the way down the hill. It was pushing me. Yep. And I couldn't really have enough to stop it, so I just had to hang on. But never crashed, got home, but that was probably the first one I towed, and that was a long time ago. Good gosh, that means I've been towing almost 50 years. Wow. Well, I remember the first time backing up, but I don't remember the first time towing. Yeah, it was always probably a horse trailer, wasn't it? It was a horse trailer, yes. And that was, there was a lake on one side and a lake on the other, and if I could back it up, I could drive the company pickup. So, yeah. it worked out. You didn't hit either lake. I huh? didn't hit either lake. <laughs> Nobody went swimming. Well, that's good. The horses didn't go... Look like a bunch of drunken sailors climbing out the back of the trailer. Yeah, that's you know, it is. That's all it is. I mean, I, I've worked with people in a lot of different other groups and websites and magazines. And, you know, I'd be the trailer guy because, you know, I was an old farmer, so I knew all about them and how to back them up. And those guys didn't. And I remember the first year was scary. And then each year after that, they kept getting better and better. And now those guys can do anything I can do. It's amazing. It's all it is is experience. Just take some time. Yeah, get your feet wet and, and try it out. You will figure it all out. Your brain well, will remember it. I don't know how many people I know that still don't know how to drive a trailer or that aren't comfortable enough to. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's how I'd be if I was driving a Ferrari or Lamborghini. I'd be kind of worried the first couple of times. Super Crew, that's what they call them, Super Crews. It's a ruby red metallic tinted clear coat. The entire interior is camel leather trim, bucket seats, and it is beautiful leather. The holes in it for the heat and the air conditioner, and it is, I like the light color you actually see inside the cab. You got a black leather, black everything inside the cab, and you can't see things. You can't see what's on the floor. MSRP on this is only 59530 and it, uh, it's with all these options now. This Lariat, it's got just about everything. The Lariat series, uh, the Bliss with Trader Toe monitoring, the remote start system, reverse sensing. Of course, it has LED mirror spotlights that stick out the side. Uh, Sync Connect, that body odor, I mean, BO Play premium audio sound, 
voice activated navigation, a heated steering wheel. And the second row is heated seats also. These are 18 inch wheels. Of course, this is the EcoBoost 35 V6. 355 rear end with an electric locker, which I like. GVW and this is 7000. Has Pro Trader backup assist, which is a little knob that helps you back up where you can run the knob instead of your steering wheel. This has a Max Trader, Trader towing package, which is a 36 gallon big tank. Integrated brake controller for the trailer. And then uh, sprayed in bed liner. That's an accessory also. <coughs> So, pretty well loaded truck. And again, it's 23 on the highway by the EPA and 17 in the city, 19 combined. And uh, that's really not bad. Of your shifter, I guess it says DM. Anyway, that's your, your button to get tow haul mode now. And it also goes, let's see, I'll push the button. And there's your tow haul mode. That's your normal. Next one's tow haul. And that's snow and wet, which means it'll start up in a higher gear so you don't spin. Let's see, come back here. Okay, there we go. Next one, that's Eco for, I guess, it shifts in a lower RPM. So you can save some fuel. And the last one's Sport. That's the one that scares you. Fast, fast truck. But that's all on that button. That's what you got to do to get the tow haul mode. It does that stop-start thing and all the camera buttons and all that. But the stop-start thing, that's what shuts it off when... You're sitting still for a few seconds. It tries to save you fuel and you can shut it off because sometimes it's annoying to have that thing keep shutting off and turning on. There's the four-wheel drive knob. That's really easy to get to. It's right by the radio, right by the shifter. The shifter has a lot of cool things to it. The push button start. You gotta like the push button start. But there's that Pro Trailer Assist. Pro Trailer Backup. And it sits above the brake controller. Now the brake controller is a little too low and out of the way. It's kind of like what it is in the Colorado. You don't see it. You gotta go look for it. So it's down there. You gotta see it to adjust the gain. And if you have to do the manual control, you have to reach for it. But that knob is just kind of in the way. But I guess that's where you'd want it if you're going to use that Pro Backup system. And I think for the newbie trader person, it's great. It's not something I use. But uh, anyway, the layout's pretty interesting on this. There it goes through its whole thing. Tells me what the trailer brake gain is. Tells me to start it to push there. Tells me where I'm at. It likes to give you that cross traffic thing. This is a great dash. You can see aerial gauges at once. It's all the ones that I'd want to see. Trailer connected. Start press brake. So I'll get rid of some of these screens because I don't need them. But looky here, looky here. There's your towing information. How many miles you towed. The pro trailer backup assist. You set it there. Trailer blind spot. So, you, my goodness, you can go through a lot of stuff. And there's how you want to do the trailer brakes or the trailer lights. You can check them there. And that's the setup. So you can go up there and figure out which trailer you want to hook up and save the information you have for it. You can add a trailer. Trailer sway control, I've got it turned on. But that is so awesome. And that's under the towing section. Let's go to trailer settings and see how far it goes. Rename the trader. Reset the trader distance. Change blind spot measurements. Add a blind spot. All that has to do with those cameras. Change the Pro Trader sticker. There is a checkered sticker you put on the tongue so that the camera can recognize it, and that's how you dial it in. Yep. Change the brake type. Now we can go in there. And. You can set it between, I guess, electrical or hydraulic. There it is. Electric surge, none. Electrical or hydraulic. Which is pretty interesting. Lots of options. When you're getting set up for the trailer. Oh, this is cool. The uh, part I want to see you in here is uh, below this. Trailer to change the brake type. That's what we just did, and the brake effort, and that is cool. And there's the brake effort. I've got it set on medium, so it depends on how much foot pedal you give it, how much brake force it gives to the trailer. I guess the gain. 
So it's pretty cool. So if you like just a light touch on it and hitting the brakes hard, it'll do that at high. Low means you got to push the brake further. I've got a medium. It's the setting I want to play with. And see how that goes. But it certainly has enough stuff to play with for your trailer. Of course, that means also that it has the awesome trailer. Now there's a button you can push here on the left side. It lights up and then you can telescope the steering or the mirrors in and out. Which I love that power, power steering. And then if you push on the bottom arrow, it'll fold both mirrors. Which is cool. You drive through a bank or you drive through McDonald's, that's nice. Push the same button again and they go out. And then push the left arrow and they telescope in and out. I got all the way out and all the way in. That is cool and simple. This truck is made for trailers. Big mirrors, that works. Of course, then all the cameras come on and tell me how I can back up. And you got a 360 camera, and then I can go push this button, and it gives me a bigger picture of the bumper pull. Push this picture. Now it's bigger. Tons of pickup truck questions, right? Right. Where do we go for the answers? We go to the Truck Nuts book. Because we're truck nuts. <laughs> and we wrote the book, Truck Nuts. We're nuts about truck. The ultimate guy to buy a truck, or yep. to look at a truck, or judge at a truck. You know, whether it's diesel versus gas, new versus used, what your teenagers should learn about trucks, all that. You do all kinds of cool tests. Yeah, we do a lot of testing. We do the Ike Gauntlet, world's toughest towing test up the mountain and down the mountain. We do MPG testing on the highway, loaded with trailers. Yeah. We do off-road testing. A lot of that data is in this book as well, and it's a one-stop shop for truck information. That's true. We test trucks maximum capacity up to biggest grades you can do on the interstate. Yep. So we really put them to the test. And you know, you can get all the facts you can't find anywhere else. We do MPG tests, which you can't find on any sticker anywhere. So you know, all that stuff that you can't find is in the book. And you can find the book at trucknutsbook.com. There are links to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and all the other bookstores as well. So read about your truck nuts. <laughs>